there in YouTube land. This is Norma. And today I'm coming in. I just came in from um, riding my bike. And it feels great. I have a lot of energy. That's one of the benefits of working out or exercising or bike riding is when you come back in, you feel like you have a lot of energized ready, energy ready to use it uh, in whatever you want to. In my case, I'm going to take a shower and then uh, start uh, cleaning my house. And before you do that, make sure you have a protein drink or something with protein because you need to revitalize your body after all that exercise. Um, last week I was um, doing my running and it was the second time and um, I think I aggravated my hip joint. Uh, when I was heavy I used to have a lot of problems with my hips. I would get pains and I would be awake at night with the pain. Well, it hadn't happened since I had lost all the weight, and uh, but I hadn't been running. Um, I never had this problem when I bike ride, and I had been bike riding for about two weeks and increasing my uh, longevity on the ride, you know, the duration and the length of the ride. Um, but I had never had problems with my hips until I started running again. So um, I was disappointed, so I stopped running for a few days. I've been doing my bike riding, but not running, and I'm going to try again. Um, first, I'm going to check out and see what might have been the problem, maybe the quality of the shoes. The shock absorbent might not have been as good with the walking shoes that I had. Um, I started using my, a running shoe with cushion and support. And, of course, if you're going to be running, you have to look at are you going to be cross-training, running, walking, aerobic, or court type of exercise. What is it that you're going to be doing? And then um, get that kind of shoe. So I went and I got some running shoes, and um, I'm going to try it to, again tomorrow and see how it goes. If I have pain, then I'm going to go see my doctor about it. And I might just have to be understanding that maybe I just can't do that or I don't want to have surgery for my hips so um, maybe I just can't do that and I might, I might have to downplay it to maybe just walking speed walking and then on alternate days riding my bike uh, when you're doing any kind of activity you should go check out with your doctor and see if you um, are ready to do it also make sure that you're alternating say Monday Wednesday and Friday you're doing your bike riding and Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays maybe you're doing your running or you're walking whatever it is but you should also incorporate a different variety maybe cardio or weight training or you know just lifting weights to tone your body and so that's what I've been also starting to do as I progress from the bike riding I've added on different things to my uh, incorporate exercise into my life and you know that this is a lifelong thing that I've um, that we're encountering that we're going to have to do if we want to maintain our weight. Uh, main maintenance is not just sitting there. <laughs> maintenance is working at it so that it doesn't come back because you can gain the weight and then some. So you don't want to do that. You didn't go through the surgery or you didn't go through all the dieting and the workouts and everything else to gain the weight back. Um, some of the things that um, you have to look out for when you do go see the doctor is make sure that you ask questions, you know, and that they're asking you the questions uh, that you need to be able to um, tell them about. If you're diagnosed with a heart condition, if you um, perform physical activities, how much do you do? Uh, do you have any pain in your chest? Um, have you had any chest pain in the last month? Do you feel dizzy or lose your balance? Do you have any orthopedic conditions that were, you know, like maybe your back, knees, hips, problems like that? Are you taking a heart medication? Uh, high blood pressure, do you have high blood pressure? Are you pregnant? Are you insulin dependent, uh, diabetic? Are you older than 69 years old and you haven't been active? Do you have any other reason that you shouldn't exercise? You should ask these, these things to yourself and then talk to your doctor about it. Um, he would be the best uh, advice that you can get. I'm just putting it out there, okay? Um, what are your motivating motivations to get it, do the exercise? It could be weight loss, it could be social affiliation, 
could be physical appearance, you want to improve your physical appearance, of course all of us want to do that. Or is it a competitive thing? I mean a little bit of that too, because some of us are competitive and we want to do that. And you don't have to be competitive against someone else, you're competitive against yourself. You're trying to compete and supersede anything that you, you've done before. You want to be better at it than you were before. And that's what I meant by competitiveness. You're competing against yourself, not anybody else. Um, the health benefits. Of course, we want to be healthy. We want to um, be able to live a longer life, strengthen our muscle in our heart, strengthen our body so that we can do more flexibility, all those things, stamina, uh, just building your stamina and being able to know that you're healthy. Um, and then, of course, stress relief. A lot of us have the stress from our daily jobs, our daily lives, and when you run or exercise or any kind of physical activity like that, it reduces the stress. And so stress relief is important for a healthy life. Um, some of the factors that are you, you're choosing in uh, your workouts could be the time of day. What is the best time? It's the time that you give yourself because you deserve it. Uh, you can make a lot of excuses. I have a job, I have to make dinner, I have to do this, la 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 la. Give yourself that time. You deserve it and you need to do it for yourself. Um, available facilities. Do you have a fitness center close by or, or in your complex where you live or in your home or you want to work out outdoors, which is what I choose to do. I want to be out, outdoors. I want to be outside in the sunshine and um, the wind and whatever. I want to be out there. So that's what I choose to do. And of course, if it starts to rain, I'm going to do it inside. The mode of workout. Uh, choose enjoyable activities that are good for you, that you enjoy doing. Um, and are they conductive to your goals? Make sure that they're not just, you know, walking. You got to do everything else, right? You got to do the uppers, the body. You got to change your exercise, the kind of exercise you do. Don't do the same things every day because that's not going to be as effective as if you alternate. Uh, maybe, for example, like me, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm bike riding. Tuesdays, Friday, and Thursdays, and Saturdays, I might be um, walking or running, which is, I'm, I'm going to try to do that with the new shoes. Um, the kind of, well, let me see, social setting, do you do it by yourself or do you do it with a partner or in a group? That's totally up to you and your comfort level. Some people like to do it together because being together, the time goes by slower. Sorry about that. Just Anyways, that's all I want to say right now. Um, but yeah. Make sure that you do that. And also, I have downloaded some um, podcast from uh, Susie's Couch to 5K Running podcast. Uh, it helps you to be able to do your um, 5K uh, to prepare for it. I'm sorry. Uh, to prepare for it, you begin with uh, five minute uh, walking to warm up your body and then you run for 60 seconds and 90 seconds recovery then 60 seconds of running and then 90 uh, seconds of recovery these are important for you to be able to attain running in a 5k the next Mama, week the next week I'm ready. talking the next week you will walk um, less and you will run more in increments and the music that she down that you can download from her has her um, you know tips on when to start when to stop walking and when to start running when to stop running the music is hip-hop if you like that kind of music uh, she has the music for the nine weeks to prepare you uh, for the running for 5k and it's really a good program if you like it download it I did it to my little mp3 player that I bought and this holds 6,000 uh, songs it's really nice I could start it and uh, stop it and it's really nice um, it's very lightweight so I just clip it on right here and I'm ready to go and it encourages me and makes me stay on task so I'm not wasting time and I'm getting to what I have to do so yeah that's what's happening this week with me oh you know what because I had that problem with my hips, um, I was looking online for different ways to uh, maybe help my situation. And I found, um, on Facebook, I found this uh, young man, Nathaniel, and he gave me this website. I'm sorry. 
it's uh, I'll put it down here if you want to go into weight training or if you want to start an exercise program or if you want to know how to stretch or do any kind of physical activity and what muscles incorporated in all those things this is the website to go it talks about the different muscles and like I said the fitness everything that you would like they have videos that help you to get started the warm-up videos they have stretching videos this is like one of the best um, websites that I have ever found so I'm gonna put it down there so that you can benefit from it this and the free podcast I mean all you need to do is buy the mp3 player and get started so yeah have a good week and I hope it's helpful to someone let me have any comments that you would like go out there and check out these websites and then let me know what you thought see you later